I don't know why I just make videos in the morning. Because because my hair is so awesome. Yeah. Okay. Here is the TTDSI, which is basically a flashcard right here that allows you to add more functionality to your Nintendo DSi. It will also work for the DS Lite and I think the original DS also, but basically it says it can play mp3 files, it can play videos, movies, I don't know who would want to watch movies on their DS, and ebooks. But basically it's just a flashcard that has a little slot right here that allows you to input um, a micro SD trans flash card that people usually use for their cell phones. Here I have um, Sandus 4 gigabyte micro micro SDHC card, and apparently it can hold. It's com this card is compatible with a uh, four terabyte SDHC trans flash cards, and I don't think those exist yet. But four gigabytes is good enough. I got it for about nine dollars on ebay so that's the place to go to get memory cards but basically when you first get this you need you need a micro sdhc card and then you need to go to their website which is ndstt.com which i'll i'll post the link for everything i say here but you go go to their website you download a kernel i don't really know what that means basically just a bunch of files that you have to place into your memory card first. That way this will recognize your card. But after you place the kernel in, then you can put in all of your .nds ROMs that you have that, that are legally obtained, of course. I'll show you where to download them. From, that's from your computer, and you know it on here, place it in the card, and then you can play it on your DSi. So I already have a couple ROMs here. I'll see, put the card in here. Of course, put in your DSi. Yeah, I got a nice plastic case for my DSi. Turn it on, boom. And then, oh, let's take the volume. And then, okay, here's, um, you click on the little icon for games. And then, boom, here's the menu. And then down here is a list of all the ROMs that you have. I currently have 62. So, um, like, My French Coach, the uh, Big Brain Academy, Flash Focus, some Avatar, Rhythm Heaven, Tetris. Um, but the cool thing about this is that this card, this TransFlash, this TTDSI card is also works for action replay cheats. So when you get a game like Mario Kart, you click on this little plus button. Sorry for the glare. <laughs> and then go to cheats. And then you can click on what cheats that you want. And in the options you have to turn cheats on, save, and then when you start your game, it'll start with cheats. <laughs> but the current kernel that you download for the TUDSI doesn't have the most updated action replay cheats, but you can go to a site that I'll also post that has the most up-to-date cheats, and then you just put that into your card, and then you'd have cheats for almost all of the games that you have here. So, um, <laughs> that's great, because since this TTDSI only costs about $15, it's much more it's much better to buy this than an action replay card for $20. Plus this can let you play MP3s and stuff too. But basically, let's pick a game like... My favorite game currently is Ninja Town. So you just tap on the game that you want, it loads. Sometimes, sometimes when you have too many games and just too many cheats turned on, the card has trouble has trouble loading games, like it'll freeze. And then you just have to reset it and then try again. And if it doesn't work, I just recommend putting less games and save files on your memory card. 
but look, it works. Uh... Story mode is completed because I got about halfway and then I couldn't do it anymore. So I needed to, so I turned on the cheats and then I, and then I finally finished it. I know that's cheap. I'm not an actual gamer. I just like to finish things. <laughs> but yeah, every set. Oh, there's a functionality that allows you to um have a soft reset too. So instead of always resetting your DS to play a new game, you'll press the left and right triggers and these four buttons at the same time and I'll just reset back to this menu. But um but that's that's it. It makes the DSA much more fun. But I um I guess that's it. It makes the Nintendo DSi much more fun that considering you would have well, like 60 something games to play with on the go instead of carrying 60 cartridges. But of course these games, these .NDS files are only obtained when you already own the game as legal backups. <laughs> and of course I will show you where to download those games if you have them. But yep. That's it. It's fun. I highly recommend getting this, but there is one problem, is that if Nintendo ever decides to give a update to their software, it might make the TTDSI obsolete and might not let it work anymore, and there's nothing these people can do to fix that. And then you would just have to buy like a newer one that's compatible, so to prevent that, just don't just don't update your DSi unless you hear from other people that it's safe. And so far I haven't updated mine since I got it. Mainly because I don't have wireless internet to update it with, but I don't think I really need to. Well, it's working just fine. But yeah. So that is that is the TTDSI. I highly recommend it. There's other cards like the Accurate 2i and an R4i. I haven't tried those, those might be better, but this is the only one I use because I think it seemed, seemed like it was the most popular at the time. So, get this if you want to play ROMs on your DSi. Cool.